it is time for some fun in Brooklyn. This is the world famous Diker Heights Christmas Lights. And tonight it's the New Year's Eve Lights of Brooklyn. Let's do our walk through and I think I see a uh, ghost of Christmas past. Or is that the bones of a skeleton? Uh, repurposing. Love it. Now we are on 84th Street, but only six blocks away from Coney Island. Now why are we talking about the beach when Frosty the Snowman is showing off his carrot and smiling at us? Well, that's a big thing to do in Brooklyn is to head to Coney Island. There is a New Year's Eve countdown from the Parachute Jump, which is one of the rides from the Queen's Fair that uh, was a little bit expensive. Not everyone rode it, so they thought if they brought it over to Brooklyn, they'd give it a second life. It's quintessential. It's the one ride that you can see as you are approaching Brooklyn. And people jump in the water for... <laughs> Yes, they jump in the water. They jump in the water for something called the Polar Plunge. And I have my Polar Plunge shirt on as we speak. There it is. So this is a real thing, not just talking nonsense. Polar bears come out and they go swimming at Coney Island. Now the swimming is actually on New Year's Day and the sentiment is to wash away the year prior and start fresh and new. And I think we're doing that tonight is this is a Brooklyn wet walk. It is raining, but the lights are shining bright. And are people still coming out? Yeah, these are all folks riding up and down the block. Looking out the window, seeing the lights. Now, I do not recommend that you drive up and down the block and look out the window. And I'll tell you why. Some of the lights have music. Yeah, here, here's one. Okay, let's, it's twinkle music, but you don't hear it when you're in your car. Yeah, it's the automated music that's on the decorations. I know it's cheesy, a little bit kitschy, but super fun. You do not hear that. When you are driving by. All right, let's continue the walk. People are coming out. Is it the end of the lights? No, we still hold on until the... Uh, Three kings arrive, and you can see this nativity scene right here it has Joseph, Jesus, Mary, but no kings, because they're not here yet. I got a great story about the three kings. It's very big, the celebration of the three kings in Puerto Rico, and I had taken my mother there once, and we were there for the Epiphany, the Three Kings Day celebration. And mom had said, now I understand why the three kings came to Puerto Rico. It's so beautiful here. I'm glad that we're here because now it all makes sense. I love you, mom. Thinking of you in Diker Heights. And I often think of her because one year she said, I want a blue Christmas tree, but I have all these decorations that people have given me. And they'll be offended if I don't put them out. And I came here and there was a house all decorated in blue. And I could not help but to think of my mom wanting that blue tree, but not wanting to let down the people who had given her Christmas presents to decorate her tree with. So what did we do? I bought her another tree. She had two trees that year and that tree just had blue lights. Now this is an important stop. We are walking up to the house of Lucy Spata. And this is on 84th Street, Diker Heights Christmas Lights. Started there 
in 1986. And it is a mother story. Lucy had lost her mother and her mother loved Christmas. And she put out 40 angels to commemorate her mother. The neighborhood was a bit more conservative back then as far as Christmas goes. Not everyone was really happy about that. That was year 1986. Did that stop the Christmas spirit of Lucy Spada? Not a bit. We're approaching that house now. You'll see everyone stops there because that is where it all began. And you can see some of the energy right here to our right. Now, she also lost her husband, Angelo Spada. And he made her promise that if he were to transition to non-physical, that she would continue. So I really have to thank the Spada family. They've had tremendous loss. Grandmother, the mother, the father. And they promise to keep doing this. Isn't that just beautiful? Why? Because it brings people together at a time when most people stay at home. In loving memory of Angelo Spata. And there they are. This is where it all began. 40 angels. And for those of you who are not privy to the Christmas resale market, blow molds that are no longer in production, these are highly sought after. Uh, so you know it meant something when they bought them the first time, but even more when they collected 40 of them. All right, let's stroll down a little bit further. Again, Happy New Year. This is... Uh, Brooklyn, I love New York, heading to Coney Island for the polar plunge and I added an extra hour to revisit the Diker Heights. I've already been here. It's just so wonderful. So I came back, came back for just a little bit more. It is the uh, D train. Oh, what do we got here? Is someone cleaning the sidewalk? No, this family does a snowstorm. This is fake snow. As it is a rainy night. But this family does a wonderful display where they will... There is the snowmaker right there. They'll blow snow right into the lawn and have a white Christmas, whether it is warm or not. Love that. Love that. There's also another side of the Diker Heights Christmas lights. People raise money for children. There is a home that raises money for muscular dystrophy. Drop some cash in a box. They've got some bracelets out. I believe that's Michael's cause. Then there's a house for St. Jude's. Can't go wrong with that. Helping children without ever sending a bill. There is a Hanukkah house, which makes perfect sense. Not because they're culturally appropriating Christmas. Hanukkah is a festival of lights. So if you are thinking, ah, oh, I don't do Christmas. This is all nice and good, but I don't do Christmas. Well, there's a Hanukkah house. Everyone's welcome in Brooklyn. Oh, look who's here. All right, you're probably getting a hint. It's the Three Kings. Some people put out the nativity scene with the baby Jesus. Some people wait until Christmas. Some people put out the three kings. Some don't. Oh, they've really warmed my heart. They have calabasas. They have pumpkins at the nativity scene. Now, rumor has it, Diker Heights has some families that are now doing Halloween displays, but that's really a Park Slope thing. If you go over to Park Slope, you'll see a beautiful Halloween house. As we are celebrating the lights of Brooklyn, new life, here is what I have heard from our wellness speakers that joy is the uh, purpose of why we are here. And when you are in alignment and you are experiencing joy, you are part of the expansion of the universe. I slipped to al into alignment very quickly here uh, due to the uh, beautiful light display and the energy that these families permit when they do these great light shows. But I've got to go. 
Why? Gotta jump in the water. It's the Coney Island Polar Plunge. Happy New Year's. Getting back on that subway. Six more stops. Coney Island, here I come. Happy Christmas and blessed New Year. Happy Yule from, and happy Hanukkah from I Love New York. Till next time.